Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do this real quick. I'm about to go turn in for the day, but I just needed to explain a couple of things to people because you're not going to get what a special purpose vehicle is. And it, it really is simple. It's just people are not going to get it because people are not used to the terms. So let me explain, if I could, what a special purpose vehicle is. Okay, what type of car do you drive? Station wagon? Sedan, coupe, four-door, with a hatchback, what about an SUV, minivan, tractor trailer, school bus, a scooter, a motorcycle. Wait, each one of those are vehicles, aren't they? They're all used for a, a particular purpose, right? Really? So you are familiar with special purpose vehicles. You see them every day. You see strollers, you see walkers, you see go-karts, you see individuals on these, these little, um, it's not a push cart, but you know, the one that individuals who are not capable of walking, not wheelchairs, but even a wheelchair is a special purpose vehicle. You see special purpose vehicles all the time. You write a check, that's a special purpose vehicle. You sign a document, that's a special purpose vehicle. That vehicle is designed for a special purpose. It's an instrument. Just like if you were playing in a band, each instrument serves a particular purpose to help the band harmonize and complete the task of the conductor. So you are familiar with special purpose vehicles. Did you not know that the courts use your all caps name as a special purpose vehicle? Go ahead and look at any of your bills, light bill, gas bill, phone bill. Go ahead and look at your driver's license or state issued ID. Special purpose vehicles. You've been familiar with them all your life. No, you're normally used to hearing about SPVs in the sense of trading. Now, let's say they're trading something on the market. They create these instruments called mortgage-backed securities. Well, those are special purpose vehicles, ladies and gentlemen. Remix. Special purpose vehicles. Pooling and servicing agreement. Special purpose vehicles. Special purpose vehicles, it's just a name that they created, but they did it to confuse the rest of you so you wouldn't understand what was really going on behind the scenes. Aha! One of those moments, huh? Well, guess what? You get to create your own special purpose vehicle. They created a special purpose vehicle with your all caps name, but you're the owner of that name. That's your property, your possession. Don't believe me? Go reread the Fourth Amendment. You have a right to be secure in your papers, person, assets, property, and homes. Special purpose vehicles. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there are certain things I'm going to give you one. I'm not going to give you everything because that's not my job here. My job is to put you in the direction so you can go do the research. So everybody thinks they can come here and get all of the answers to their questions. That's not, please. You must be out of your mind if you think I'm just going to tell you everything and spill all kind of beans and please. Quit claim deeds. Quit, 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 quit. Quit, leave me alone. Quit claim deeds, ladies and gentlemen. Quit claim deed it to yourself. Everything, but do it to your special purpose vehicle. That's what your aim is. That's what your goal is. Special purpose vehicles. See, they do account for something. Now, what we're doing, I talked to the staff today, and I'm only going to do this for about three more minutes, so I'll try to go a little bit faster. I talked to the staff today, and I told them, in all of our projects, our job was to help people, help improve people. It was very difficult to explain to people about credits and how those credits benefited them and how they benefited greatly and how when we gave them the credits, they still didn't know what to do with them. Lord have mercy. Ladies and gentlemen, too many videos are done to get you guys where you need to be. We're, we don't want your property, people, and I keep yelling and screaming. We're... <laughs> We're not one of those organizations. Never. That's why I'm still here. That's why I'm still at the helm. Because I won't let nobody come in and take advantage of you. We had some people who wanted to take advantage of people. They're gone. I ain't got time for that. As I told the staff today, we have to come up with a pricing structure to make it easier on you. We can't make it too easy because then it won't have its value. But we have to make it affordable. Do you understand? 
We're not trying to gouge you. We're not trying to take your money. We made it through COVID without asking for a single PPP. We didn't ask for no outside assistance from anybody. We made it through and we're still here. Morpheus. Okay. We are still here. We're not going nowhere. We are here for you. We're, we're doing this for you guys. We're not doing this for ourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, as you see, you see the, look at the time on the clocks. Look at the hours that I keep talking about. I'm up. I've been up since what? I woke up at two o'clock this morning, stayed up till six, went back to sleep. Well, no, I went, I stayed up till four, got up at six and then stayed in the bed until eight 30. Cause it was just one of those days. When I want to be all alone, Monica. So ladies and gentlemen, all of my waking hours, you people. Well, not really. You know, I, I, I serve Jehovah, the only true God. And so he's all of my waking hour, you know, caveat. But you guys know what I mean. I'm not here to get over on you. I don't want to get over on you. I don't need to get over on you. I don't need to get over on you. You don't have nothing I want. Let me give you my concept of the world everything is junk everything comes from something that is recycled some piece of junk there is no such thing as new in my world i don't know about a brand called new i could care less about a brand called new i barely have any brand called new you know i've never had a so-called new car please i don't care to have a brand called new car why because you get that thing and it's first off the lot and you end up having problems with it. How many of you bought a new car and you didn't have to take it in for repairs? You didn't have to take it in for maintenance. Then that's not new. New means you're supposed to be hassle-free until there's wear and tear. Five months down the line, it's not wear and tear. Look at how many people, uh, there's a recall. Why would I want to go through all of that? Well, you have the same problem when you buy used. Well, don't worry about it. When I buy used, I'm expecting to have those problems. I apologize. I'm sorry. Whew. Well, saw. So, I don't think like the rest of you. I don't want to think like you. I'm not trying to be you. I'm not trying to be anybody else. I'm not trying to take from Paul, Peter, Jane, John, Joe, Jim. I, I don't care about all of them. You know what I care about? I care about people. I care about trying to lessen the burdens on people. So tell you what we're going to do. We're going to give you guys the opportunity of picking up on some of these things that we're bringing. Hopefully it'll benefit you. Hey, I got to go.